Today, we explore the beauty and charm of Kenosha, Wisconsin, a harbor town on a great lake. From stunning lakeside views to picturesque parks and an enchanting downtown, we'll show you the best of Kenosha. So buckle up and join us on another Love Nesters adventure. Hey, welcome back to Love Nesters. We are going to go on an outdoor adventure in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Kenosha? It's a beautiful town right on a beautiful lake. It's a short drive, easy to get to. It's a hidden gem. Really a lot of neat things in this town. We can't wait to show them to you. Thanks for being here. Petrified Springs. County Park, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Absolutely beautiful. A great place to come take a hike. Another place, great place to explore in the dead of winter. As always, we encourage not only you, but each other to get out, get out. Put on the long johns and get out. And believe me, I'm the biggest baby when it comes to cold. Oh, this is just beautiful here. Wow, if you're a kid, there is a fantastic play area here, kind of in the back of the park. So, Petrified Springs, County Park, Kenosha, Wisconsin. I think this is one of the Petrified Springs. Petrified, were they scared? So, I am on a hunt. For the petrified spring. We think it's up here. Oh, there's the petrified spring. Right there. Once again, we find ourselves in a very icy situation and we don't have our ice cleats with. When will we learn? They sure have a well-marked bike route here. Wow, they actually have a squirrel feeder here. done a beautiful job of laying out this park. Lots of bridges going across the river. Love Nester tip, if you're visiting Petrified Springs in the winter months, the only bathroom that is open is in parking area one where they have this whole beer garden facility. Actually coming down to Lake Michigan in the winter, if the wind is right, it's a beautiful time to come visit Lake Michigan. So this structure has a fun story. This started out as a piece of art and uh, the person that was creating it decided uh, they didn't want to do it anymore and they quit and now they make quilts. The North Pier Lighthouse stands at the end of the Kenosha Harbor Breakwater. While it can easily be viewed from the lakefront, it is privately owned and not open to the public. Actually, in one of our previous videos, we got to interview one-on-one -on -one the artist behind the sculpture. Incredible man, Paul, from the Colgate, Wisconsin area. Okay, we found one. We recognize this right away. I'll put a link in the description to our video. We had the opportunity to meet the artist at his home studio. Very nice man. The light here is just beautiful for these things. Okay, so this thing is so cool. It's recycled all kinds of things. There's a keyboard on here, an old bike chain. Very cool, old bike wheel. Love it.
Thank you, Paul, for sharing your gift with the rest of us. There are two lighthouses at the lakefront. The original lighthouse, the Southport Lighthouse, was built in 1866 and is listed on the National Registry of Historic Places. During the summer, you can climb to the top of the tower as well as tour the Keeper's House, which houses the Kenosha History Center. The headquarters for Jockey International is right in Kenosha. Some real bargains can be found in their factory store. decided to have a stop at the olive tree for some breakfast. Well, thanks for joining us at Love Nesters. We found a great little restaurant. Downtown Kenosha. Okay, so fun fact, the restaurant that we just ate in used to be the home of the very first Walgreens in Wisconsin. Kenosha is home to Carthage College. College campuses make for wonderful places to visit, and this one on the shores of Lake Michigan is particularly beautiful. Carthage has two art galleries, sporting events, and performances that are open to the public. You can also schedule a tour online. We're only 9,240 miles from Sydney, Australia. Okay, and this is the theater area. Beautiful space. So this statue represents Abraham Lincoln and his uh, secretary at the time, Hay. Lincoln was actually instrumental in bringing Carthage College to Springfield, Illinois. We're not sure on the connection of how it got up to Wisconsin, but fun fact. So on campus, there are two of these lovely little buildings called meditation centers where students can come in and, and reflect. Hey, Kenosha, Wisconsin, what a great place to visit. I am so glad we came down today. What a lovely town, so many beautiful outdoor activities. We're already planning another trip back. Beautiful parks, a beautiful university here, and a lakefront. Oh my goodness, you forget how nice it is to be on the beach on Lake Michigan. If you're enjoying our adventures or looking for adventure ideas of your own, we post a video every week. We'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and join the Love Nesters family. Thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Hey, welcome back to Love Nesters. Hey, we are... <laughs> You'll get it. Oh my goodness, look at how much serum you just put on there. You're part elf. <laughs> I am, one of the food groups. Yes, you got your serum helping for today. 